Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On this episode, I'm going to show you some software that takes keyboard shortcuts to a whole new level. So, Type It For Me is software that's been around for a while. Basically, what it allows you to do is assign a series of keystrokes to something longer. Like, for instance, instead of having to type my whole name every time, I can simply type GA and it'll automatically fill out Gary Rosenzweig. And you can Add a whole bunch of different shortcuts, including scripted ones. Let's go and take a look at what Ricardo had to say about his software at the Macworld Expo. So, Type It For Me, uh, as the name tries to convey, is a program that will actually type text on your behalf on the computer. Now, it is not dictation software, so you don't speak and it actually types for you, but it types for you to the extent that you type a little, like an abbreviation, a shortcut. And it can actually then expand that into a longer bit of text. It could be a word, it could be a complete paragraph, a whole, uh, a whole note um, of boilerplate uh, text. So it's extremely useful when you need to say certain things again and again. Um, what it can also do is it can type, uh, you type an abbreviation and it can actually invoke an Apple script. So if you know a bit of scripting, uh, you could type something and then maybe that launches an application. I use it all the time to uh, launch Safari and go to a URL where I pick up my webmail, for example. And then when it prompts me, when the webmail uh, page prompts me to enter my username and password, I type another type for me abbreviation that actually does that. Username, tab, password, return, and it logs me in. So type it for me lives in the system preferences. And that's where you actually set up the abbreviations, but the, the application is also available as a pull-down menu from the, uh, from the top right of the screen. Uh, and in here you can actually pick an abbreviation and have it expand into the open document. Uh, you would do that occasionally if you can't remember an abbreviation, uh, but most of the time where it's really useful is where you actually type an abbreviation. So if I type RET, uh, it actually expands to my name. If I type TY, it expands to type it for me. Earlier I was showing somebody that I can type much longer text. We, we copied some text from the web and with, with two letters I can actually get the text going. Uh, you can use it to, uh, to type a complete uh, boilerplate um, letter if you need to. Um, and also you can use it to generate, uh, to launch an Apple script. So if I type go OWA, that's my way of remembering the, um, the script that will actually then launch Safari and, and go to where I pick up my, my office mail. Now in addition to type it for me, there's also tap it for me, which is iPhone software that allows you to use the same kind of functionality to type short documents and emails and send them using the iPhone. Well, tap it for me, which is what we are calling it for the iPhone edition, uh, reflecting the fact that you actually tap your, your letters on the, on the screen, um, actually works as a standalone application in which you can use the, the same abbreviations that you might have created on the Mac or you don't need a Mac or, or a PC even, you can just do it on the phone. You create a, a shortcut, you say what it stands for, you tap the shortcut and it expands. And then what you can do is when you do this you're actually able to save it as a note. So for note taking with, with uh, abbreviations you can use it that way. Or you can use it to reply to emails or to compose new emails. Which is where we think that you would be doing 80% of your typing. You can find out more about both Type It For Me and Tap It For Me at atoresoftware.com. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.